people that campaign against the arms trade and campaign against animal testing are treated so appallingly because there's so much money in these industries. The reason they have to protect Oxford University, the reason they have to support animal torture, is nothing to do with human health. It has nothing to do with curing disease. It is merely to protect yeah. the money. Absolutely. They said yeah. it would make an increase yeah. in income tax inevitable yeah. if vivisection was banned in the UK. That's all it's about. It's nothing about human health. It's nothing about helping human beings. It's all about the money. On the 22nd of July 2006, a number of Speak supporters came to Oxford in the hope that they would be able to tell the people there the appalling story of George and how he had suffered in Oxford at the hands of Oxford University and the Oxford University professors who practiced vivisection in the city. However, they were prevented from doing so by the police. One protester tried to raise a placard outside the Randolph Hotel with a quote from Gandhi on it. The placard was very much like this.
In a democracy, you wouldn't have thought this would have been a problem, but the police told him to lower his placard immediately or face arrest. He was then handed a blue leaflet which stated where and only where he could demonstrate. Thinking this place would be a place where the public could see his placard, he, along with several other protesters, complied with the police. However, when he got to Keyball Road, he and the other protesters soon realised that the police had been completely cynical and had designated a road to protest in that was completely out of view of the public and completely out of earshot of the public as well. The actions of Thames Valley Police on this day, the 22nd of July 2006, was hardly in the spirit of the law. The law which protects a protest is the Human Rights Act 1998. This act incorporates into English law the European Convention on Human Rights, which guarantees the right to free speech and free assembly and the European Court has guaranteed that this includes the right to peaceful protest. The Act also says there is an obligation not to interfere with the right to protest and that there is an obligation to assist people who wish to engage in protest. In the sense that the Act was intended Neither of these two obligations were met. In fact, the exact opposite of what was intended by the lawmakers who drew up this act took place on July the 22nd, 2006. The reality was, on the day that George was to be remembered, the police acted unlawfully because they completely suppressed free speech as well as suppressing any meaningful protest. Anyway, let's get away from that topic. Let's remember George. Although in this photograph the weather looks fine, it in fact poured down just 10 minutes after this photo was taken. Nevertheless, Speak supporters kept their spirits up and chanted in George's memory throughout the afternoon. Remember me when you're safe at home In the day, at work, at play Remember me when you're safe and sound Remember me Remember me Remember